Today, Foot Locker unveiled the next limited edition must-have sneaker, the K-Swiss and Ghostbusters villain duo. And joining us now to discuss is Yahoo Finance reporter Reggie Wade. Are these in my size, do we know? My, I think they're a little big for you, Jen. I think they send <laughs> It in my size. So, yes, this is K-Swiss has teamed up with Footlocker.com on this exclusive shoe. This is to celebrate the 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters, which was June 8th. They went on sale today. And let's see what we have. This is the first This, by the way, it's, people should know, it says on the side of the box, danger, high voltage. Yes, yes, high voltage. No, a lot of heat emitting from this box. <laughs> a lot of heat. Yes. Right, so, gonna... so for the uninitiated, heat is basically when you have cool sneakers. Like, you've got heat on today. Yeah. Rick Newman with the dad shoes, the, no heat. I In his own way, I think that's right. Okay, so your you're ripping on me. Right. Well, you went first. Just because I said you went no first. one listens right, to you right. unless you're talking about golf. Right. Let, let Reggie Let's talk about sneakers. Let's see these cool yes. sneakers. This, this is Yahoo is Finance unveiling. history, the first live unboxing live of a unboxing. sneaker on Yahoo it's Finance. It's a big box. It's a huge box. Look at this, and wow. they have What's Ghostbusters branding. So is this how everybody's box is going to be? Or uh, just like this might be box. something special that K-Swiss and Foot Locker put we get together to the for shoes, Yahoo guys. Finance. Cool. Who cares but about the box? This here and the we've got four and a half minutes, Rick. Just to see how they did the it. Shoes. And the box is reminiscent of the Ghostbusters ghost trap, as you see, with all the buttons on the oh. side. And look oh. at this. Oh, man. This is the sick. Ghostbuster Slimer Classic 2000 <laughs> oh, with wow. Slimer right there. It Reason smells like it. a... It smells like a... Um, like a like a toy, like a Nerf toy, because there's the plastic. Yeah, it's very plastic. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it cool. I, I like it. If it wasn't, Rick, a, I think those would look. If great it wasn't a 14, I'd wear it. You need you some uh, new need shoes socks. for the show, so maybe I'll consider yeah. those. And these then the, the second yeah. is in honor of the State Puff Marshmallow Man. Who doesn't love Mr. State Puff? And we have it here. And feel how soft this is, guys. So these look like wow. these look like Swiss. S18 International. Now, Jen, these it really smell. Uh, this like is that. more up your alley. This Ooh. looks like a proper tennis sneaker almost. Yeah. I think you could actually play in this. If this were my size. These are cool. <laughs> yes. I really like how they're very like the Stay Puff Marshmallow. Very cool. Well, plus. this is Man. super cheap to produce. This is so their margin Can on this, this has got to be cool like quadruple is? the normal sneaker. Right. Super cheap to produce because it's plastic, but they're going to sell it at the a puffy part. What? Right. You gonna yes. tell us what the retail? Yeah. Is so how much is this? Those cost? retail for ninety, and those retail for ninety-five. It's less than I would have thought. Would um, have thought all right. Much. So now, uh, Reg, did these these are on sale today? Yes, on sale. Footlocker.com. Have they exclusive. already? Have they already sold out? Those have sold out. Oh, these are last, the ones I wanted. Yes. Last I checked, there were still pairs available of the Slimer, but as far as we know, those sold out. And Mr. Dan Aykroyd himself even did his own unboxing of these <laughs> on June eighth at the Ghostbusters Fan Fest in California. Uh -huh. All right, so now let's talk, um, let's broaden this out and talk a little bit about the sneaker space, which uh, I know we do on some other programs. We don't get you on here as much um, as perhaps we'd like, but when you think about a shoe coming out, a company releasing a new shoe, what's that balance between wanting the shoe to immediately be sold out, right? You see this with Nike all the time, versus actually having a few in stock, so you might see a few out in the wild. I think stuff like this, they want folks to come in. This gets people talking. So you see the Ghostbusters shoe and all the different collabs. So they say, oh, okay, this is fun, this is cute. And you go on and you see the rest of their offering. So I think it's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. I think this reels you in, but then the rest of the lineup is what makes you stay because you see other similar shoes and like, oh, all right, these are kind of like a novelty, but I actually like that. And that would go good with that jacket or that would go good with this pair of pants. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a dual So that's, dual the, effort. that's the deliberate scarcity uh, brand, style of marketing. Will, um, will, will there be a secondary market for these where the price will be way higher like there is for so Yeezys and some of the other? I don't think know, it's a Yeezy scarce. level, but there Jeez. might be, since these were a limited release, there might be uh, a high secondary market premium, but I don't think to the Yeezy level, at least, at least not yet. Who, who knows? Wow, I had no idea that Case was owned by a, a Korean firm, yes. Eland. Yes. I had no idea. That's Just globalization. Look that Just look that up. Swiss. I used to wear K-Swiss in elementary school. Those are really cool ones. Reggie, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. For coming and showing us these, and now I'm disappointed I can't get them. Sad. You can, well, you can get the Slimers. I can you get, get the some slimers. slimers. I like the other ones. I like that. Yeah, we'll work. We'll work on getting you. See how, <laughs> see how that deliberate scarcity works. Now that Jen knows she can't right. get them, want she wants them. 